Each of the following interpretations tries to explain what is going on behind quantum mechanics. Each has unique basic concepts. These interpretations are not necessarily mutually exclusive. In fact, there is some overlap of concepts. Schrodinger's cat is a thought experiment proposed by the physicist Edwin Schrodinger in 1935. It involved placing a cat in a sealed box with a vial of poison that would kill the cat if broken, along with a radiometric material and a guider counter set to drop a hammer on the vial of poison if it detected a radiometric decay event. When the cat is later observed, it is found to be either dead or alive. Each of the following interpretations has a different description of the state of the cat. The Copenhagen Interpretation of Quantum Mechanics was proposed by Niels Bohr in 1920. According to this interpretation, a quantum particle is not in any one state, but exists in all possible states at once. When a quantum particle is observed, it is essentially forced into one of the possible states, the state that is actually observed. The fact that it may be forced into a different state each time explains why quantum particles behave erratically. The state of being in all possible states is called an object's coherent superposition. When an object is observed, the superposition collapses and it is forced into one of the states of its wave function. In the case of Schrodinger's cat, according to the Copenhagen interpretation, the cat is both dead and alive at the same time, until it is actually observed. Ultimately, the only thing that really matters in this interpretation are the experimental results. It is currently the most popular interpretation of quantum mechanics, but it is losing ground. The Consistent History's interpretation of quantum mechanics was put forward by Robert Griffiths in 1984. It works backwards from the results of an experiment and says that only a few possible histories are consistent with quantum mechanics. As a result, quantum mechanics simply predicts the probabilities of various alternative histories. In the case of Schrodinger's cat, it is either alive or dead, but not both. Quantum mechanics just gives the probability of which way it may be. The consistent history's interpretation is not very popular because it still doesn't explain how a particle can go through two slits and interfere with itself. Also, it is considered by some to be pretty much the same as the Copenhagen interpretation. The transactional interpretation of quantum mechanics was published by John Kramer in July of 1986. It sees quantum mechanical waves sustaining waves in space-time that constructively interfere where the particle is and destructively interfere every place else. These waves go both forward and backward in time. However, there is an exact canceling of waves so that no net energy travels backward in time. In this case, Schrodinger's cat lives until the interference patterns inside the sample result in a decay event. The Bohm interpretation of quantum mechanics is also called the pilot wave theory. It requires a large number of hidden variables that cannot be directly measured. The hidden variables have the side effect of rendering the interpretation untestable. In the case of Schrodinger's cat, it is alive until one of the pilot waves in the sample causes a decay event. The Many Worlds Interpretation was proposed by Hugh Everett III in 1957. This view sees the world as constantly splitting off into multiple universes in which every possible quantum event actually occurs. This fits perfectly with evolution, since even the most improbable events occur in some of these universes. In the case of Schrodinger's cat, the universe keeps splitting off into each alternative, and one the cat lives and the other cat dies. They both happen in different quantum universes. There is, however, no evidence for this interpretation. This is because the alternative worlds would be forever out of reach. And while quantum interference between adjacent worlds has been suggested, the possible evidence for it, that of single particle interference, is not unique to the many worlds interpretation. As a result, acceptance of this interpretation is purely philosophical and not scientific, because it cannot be tested. According to the Consciousness Causes Collapse Interpretation of Quantum Mechanics, consciousness causes the collapse of quantum mechanical waves. This is usually associated with observation. There is some supporting evidence for this, though the evidence is not exclusive to this interpretation because it is also compatible with general intelligence design. This supporting evidence comes from the human brain. It turns out that synaptic activity in the brain requires quantum tunneling on demand. This shows at least some degree of control by the mind of quantum wave functions. More on this later. This view fits well with both New Age Hinduism and the Christian worldview. New Age Hinduism because it provides a way for the mind to interact with the world beyond the five senses. 
The Christian worldview, because since God is the ultimate mind, it provides a model for his interaction with our world. In the case of Schrodinger's cat, it would be both alive and dead until observed. Then the mind of the observer would collapse the wave function, choosing one or the other. It is similar to the Copenhagen interpretation in this regard. Our final interpretation of quantum mechanics is called General Intelligent Design. It is also known as General Grand Unification. It was published by Dr. Robert Herman, Professor of Mathematics, retired, U.S. Naval Academy. This interpretation fits well with the Christian worldview because the idea of an intelligence controlling the universe at its fundamental level fits well with God has described in the Bible. In the case of Scrooge's cat, the cat is alive until the controlling intelligent agent decides to cause a decay event to take place. Then the cat dies. The reason for bringing up this issue here is that the relationship of the mind to quantum mechanics provides evidence and support of the last two interpretations. It turns out that the synaptic barriers of dendrite brain cells are too thick for nerve signals to classically cross. As a result, nerve signals need to use quantum tunneling to cross the dendrite synaptic barrier. However, the odds of a nerve signal tunneling across this barrier is one chance in 10 million. Yet, for our brains to function, these tunneling events need to occur on demand. As a result, this is evidence for the mind being able to control quantum phenomenon and evidence against the naturalistic model of the mind as well. In conclusion, there are many ways of interpreting quantum mechanics. The acceptance or rejection of each often has more to do with philosophy than science. This is because each interpretation differs in how it sees the fundamental nature of reality.